everybody, JC here with another TNI Tour Review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today, we're going to take a look at the upcoming Marvel Legends Captain America Agent 13 Sharon Carter figure from Hasbro. Now, this six inch figure is part of Hasbro's Red Skull slash Red Onslaught Build a Figure Wave, and it comes packaged in the same style of packaging we've seen with all the Marvel Legends for 2016. We've got the Build-A-Figure logo up at the top, then you've got the Legend Series logo, the figure's clearly displayed. For this series of figures, we've got the black with blue highlights packaging. Down below, we've got the Captain America logo, and then the figure is listed as Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So this figure shares the same style of packaging, or the same exact same packaging as the Mockingbird figure that we looked at the other day. So on one side, you've got artwork for Mockingbird, and then the other side, we've got artwork for Agent 13. Then on the back of the packaging, we have a look at both figures, a brief bio in multiple languages, and then down below it shows us all the figures in the wave to complete the red uh, skull slash red onslaught build a figure. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging along with the contents. So first of all, the figure comes with the right leg for the red Onslaught Build-A-Figure. And we'll be looking at Onslaught after we've looked at all the figures in this wave. So after this figure, we've got two other figures and then we'll be uh, doing the, our Onslaught review. So be sure to check back for that. Now besides the Onslaught leg, we also get a ray gun or some type of gun. It looks like a ray gun to me. I don't know if this is a reused gun from another figure. I don't recognize it, but it doesn't really seem to fit with uh, Sharon Carter here. Maybe maybe it's something she used in the comics. I don't know. There's not a lot of paint detail. In fact, there's really no paint detail on it at all. It's just a plastic color. Uh, sculpting is, is, is not too bad. It's, it's uh, pretty good, but again, it looks very much like a ray gun, and it's kind of a little bit on the big side, but she does hold it. Um, you got to squeeze it in there between her uh, thumb, but once you get it in there, she does hold it pretty good, nice and tight. Okay, so for the figure itself, we're reusing that Maria Hill figure that came in the S.H.I.E.L.D. box set that was a Toys R Us exclusive, which was a reuse of pretty much the Black Widow figure in the Winter Soldier line. Now, we've got the same uh, gun belt as, as Maria Hill as opposed to the Black Widow one, and you've got that same left hand, which is just the closed fist, which I don't really like. I, I don't think it's, too, it's not detailed enough. It looks more like a stump to me than an actual hand, so I didn't like it on the Maria Hill figure, and I don't like it on on Agent 13 here. But otherwise, I think this is a pretty good looking figure. Um, the face sculpt, I think, is, is solid for the most part. I like the hair sculpting. Not a lot of paint applications on the hair. It's mostly just yellow, uh, not much in the way of wash work or anything. But I like the sculpting of the hair. You've got the little hair band with the ponytail. So I think that looks good. And I like how they've sculpted this uh, bit of hair that comes down over the side of her face. So I like that. I like the skin tones on the face. I like the eye pupils. I think they're nice and straight and everything. The red lipstick looks fine. Um, so I really have no problems with this face sculpt. I know some of you have said you didn't really like it, but I, I think it looks it looks pretty good. It's certainly not the best female um, face sculpt that we've gotten from Hasbro in this line, but it's by no means the worst. The rest of the figure is basically just white, and it's a very crisp white, and there's no yellowing or bleeding of any other colors coming through, so it's nice and solid. You've got the silver metallic for the zipper on the front here. You've got the shield logo on her shoulders just like the Maria Hill figure had and this one the shield is is black the bird is black and then you've got a yellow background the uh, gun belt is black and the um, the guns are silver metallic silver as well as the belt buckles now I do have a little bit of sloppy paint here there's some white that got looks like got onto the silver uh, buckle here on this one leg so but that's really the only kind of paint uh, blemish I have on this figure otherwise it's a pretty solid paint job got a little bit of writing here on the back and you've got the straps that go around the legs which are done with black and you got a little bit of white coming through on the strap but not nothing too major there okay so this figure stands just about six inches exactly she's about the same height as the Maria Hill figure and she's also about the same height as that Winter Soldier Black Widow figure. Here she is next to the classic Captain America figure released in this wave, and Cap is definitely taller. And then for one more comparison, here's the old Nick Fury figure from Toy Biz, and Nick Fury is a bit taller.
manipulation on the figure is the same as that Maria Hill figure. Head's on a ball joint so she can look left and she can look right. And the hair on the back doesn't really limit her turning her head at all. She's got decent, well, I would say okay up and down movement with the head. She can also kind of pivot her head to the left and the right as well. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joint at the shoulder so she can get her arm out good and she's got good rotation there. She's got a single hinged elbow. She's got the swivel at the elbow and then she's got the swivel at the wrist and she's got the hinges on the hands so she's got good up and down movement with the hands. She's got the rotation there at the midsection. She can't really crunch down much. She can look back a little bit but not too much and she can kind of pivot to the left and the right there at the midsection as well. Legs are attached with ball joints but you can only do the splits about that much and she can get her leg forward and she can do her leg back about that much. She has a thigh swivel, but that's limited a little bit because the, the holster is attached to the belt. She's got the double jointed knee, so she's got good bending at the knee, and then she's got the hinges on the feet, so she's got good up and down movement, and she does have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of her feet. Now the thing I hate the most about this sculpt is the feet. You know, this, These figures that use this sculpt don't stand very well at all. I hate these little like heels that they give them and stuff um, so that's my one of my biggest complaints about this sculpt okay so that's my review overall I would say this is a decent figure um, I have a few problems with the sculpt I don't like the feet because the figure doesn't stand very well and I don't like that left hand that they gave her the same one as Maria Hill but otherwise I think it's a decent figure I like the face sculpt for the most part I don't have any real problems with it I like the hair sculpting I like the paint applications on it and overall I would say the paint applications are pretty solid just a little blemish there on the on the buckles on the straps for the gun belt but otherwise it's a nice solid figure so this wave, the figures in this wave have not yet hit retail. I don't have a release date as of yet. As I've said before, I picked these up from an overseas seller so I could review them early for you. Once I know a firm release date, I'll be sure to let you know. I'm guessing the end of this month or sometime next month, but that's purely a guess at this point. We'll have a full gallery of images up at MarvelousNews.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, leave a comment. Let us know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you later.